Lauren Boebert is a big old liar. We all know that there's nothing fun about the fact that we're so often scourged by her lies. But what is fun is when it is revealed to be a lie and when she gets roundly mocked online for her lying. We have an example of it. It's sort of a classic genre of Boebert lies. She put out this tweet saying, great meeting with Glenwood Springs City Councilor and former Mayor Jonathan Goads. We have secured over 51.4 million for the South Bridge. Was thrilled to hear about the nearly $30 million in cost savings in addition. And that my support has helped make this project a reality. We and I and we did it and me and I was crucial and then the community notes come in to remind people that no, she didn't secure Jack S. The money came from a Biden-Harris grant that is part of the Rural Surface Transportation Grant Program, which is itself a part of the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, which Boebert voted against. But you knew that. It is a constant physical component of the universe that if she puts a dollar sign in a tweet, she's about to lie about a vote. That's just the way that it works out. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. I'm not the only one checking her on that. The White House put out a tweet saying one thing about congressional Republicans, they're gonna take credit for investments they voted against. It is not by any means our first time doing this. We had previously, I think, talked about this. It's $20 million for water and infrastructure projects. I'm grateful to all my stakeholders who brought these local priorities to my attention and helped ensure that my requests were passed into law. She voted no on the bill that secured that funding. And I love that in particular because it's not just her saying, I had this idea and I got the money. It's people desperate to see this happen came to me and then I voted no. I gave them a middle finger, all of them, right to their face. And the thing is, like she votes no because she's actually there to represent people who don't want spending to happen because spending demands taxes and the wealthy don't want taxes. But she tweets these things as a reminder that she does desperately need these people's help. And she knows that this sort of spending is popular. So let's see more of it, okay? We have other examples, but but what do you make of this? Yeah, so she now acknowledges that she did vote against this money that came from the Biden administration. But when she was defending her vote, she said that she always liked the bill, but she didn't like the way it came to the floor. Like she didn't like the bureaucracy or like what the Democrats were doing to push the bill. But it's like what you said, if you support a bill and if you know that the things in the bill are going to benefit your constituents, why would you still vote against it regardless of how it came to be? Regardless of what happened behind the scenes to get it to that point, you're still doing something that's actively going to hurt your constituents. And then whenever that good thing happens, in spite of your vote no, in spite of your efforts to block it, then you're later you're gonna take credit for it. And again, I, that's the thing I don't understand with Republicans is why they say things that are so easily refuted. And I really think they just bank on the fact that their their supporters are just not educated enough to, or they're not, I should say they're not consuming enough media to where that information is ever going to get to them. You know what I mean? Like they live in in very insular bubbles. So even if Bobert voted against it, they're not seeing those articles because all those articles are mostly coming from people like us and from left wing media or people who are definitely not Fox News. I'll say. Yeah, I wonder, but I wonder, like, if you're a Bobert fan, if mm-hmm. that exists, when you see the community know. Does it bother you that she's like openly lying? By the way, she can say I liked parts of the bill, but I didn't like the way it came to the floor. That's fine. In the end, you have to decide if you're gonna vote for it or not. If you voted to stop it, you don't get to claim to be a part of it passing. It passed despite you, not because of you. It's a lump sum thing. And and you know, it's difficult being an elected official and having to make those decisions. But you are desperately trying to be one. Maybe focus more on making the bills better than on just lying about it to cover your tracks and doing such a poor job of it that you have no faith in your ability to you know, regain the seat that you had previously held. So you have to flee to another one. But as we said, others have done this. Elise Stefanik had lied about this water district development. She had nothing to do with it. Elvira Salazar took credit for things that she voted against. Her explanation for why was that she forgot how she voted. <laughs> That's not a good explanation, actually. That makes you look like an idiot. 